there. Happy, what is it? Thursday today. So, a second day of trying out my new sous vide um, cooking done in the multi um, cooker. Now, I wanted to show you so that you guys could kind of see the, the difference here. And what it's so funny is I'm actually gonna be using this tonight. I'm gonna do potatoes in there, just going, okay, I cannot have all these electronics, but um, this way you get, at least get an idea. So with sous vide, you have to heat the water and it says add now. So I'm gonna take this off. There we go. I'm going to set it right here. Okay. Oh, and side note, you know, Chris, right back here, you know, when we were talking about the, that, okay, that has, that plastic has to stay on. And I guess it's something to do maybe like if moisture came back down there. So if you house to show and you get it for really cheap, don't be pulling off that plastic. Okay, so tonight is steak. Um, I'm so excited. Of course, had I read the recipe, it said New York. I just got top sirloin. As I told you the other day, wow, meat's expensive. So I all it said, it had like a piece of rosemary, but my rosemary is not looking that good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on some pepper. And then I'm going to put on some pink Himalayan. Himalayan sea salt, okay? And I'm gonna use, of course, which I absolutely love, is our rosemary herb. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have this or have never tried this, I make the best non-dairy, well, Chris, both both of us do, um, non-dairy mashed potatoes. Oh, so good. Okay, so, and then it had a cube of butter on there. I'm not sure what that was for, because the other one, the chicken had no, I mean, nothing. So, okay, now to get them in here will be, I think I'm gonna go with the big one first. I'm gonna just put it in like this. Hopefully I can fit both of these. I think if I turn it around, eh, Chris? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn this around in the bag. I almost wanna use my hands, yeah, but, uh, good. huh? Let's get done that one. Yeah, and then we'll fit this one, oops, in there, okay? And they said, doesn't matter how thick, the chicken, I have to tell you, was so good. And we had chicken sandwiches today, and that meat was just so moist. You know where it does tend to dry out sometimes, but it didn't. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. Now we need to get all the air out. I saw the video, and they talked about squeezing it this way. I don't know how come that would, but you want to get all the air out. There's another way, too, that they talked about where you could actually put it in a bowl of water. I'll try that tomorrow. I want to do salmon because um, they said the salmon is so good. And I want to try vegetables. Okay, so I'm hoping I've got all the, the what's name out. Now, you're going to put it in here. The water's warm. It's been at, uh, it was... 100, well they said 135, but that meat looked pretty rare, so I did 140. So I'm going to stick it in. You have to have all the meat um, displayed or in the water. Does that mean there's air in there like that? I don't know. Oh, that's kind of hot. Okay, remember this is only my second time. Okay, so, all right. Well, that looks like it's it's under... But it keeps coming up. So I'm going to put the lid on really fast. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off. Go like that. And go like this. Now, if I can remember correctly, I hit it again. And then I hit it again. Oh, no. I think that was just you hit it once. And then in two hours, um, this will be done. So I'll come back for part two so you guys can see how lovely the steaks um, turn out. All right, see you later. Bye.